Hi, this is Rhea Weirich with the Whitewood Public Library, and we're excited to have a new book in our collection. Well, actually, this is a pre-published version of the Whitewood Historical Notes and Folklore. And as you can see, that's a picture of Main Street as it looks today. Whitewood, South Dakota has its origins in the earliest days of Lawrence County, Dakota Territory. The history of this small Black Hills town is rich with stories and facts about the settlement and growth of the area. This book has been researched, compiled, and written by Mary Gallup Livingston of Whitewood, South Dakota, 2013. And as I flip through the pages of the book, you'll see this book is filled with pictures, newspaper articles, maps, documentations that support the writings and the folklore that is written and compiled in the book. And as we go along, you may recognize some names. Here are some firemen's badges that are currently sitting in our new fire hall down on Thompson Street. The Bonnewells had a store in town here. Here's a picture of the post office and some um, horses that the Jones brothers had. The old, old bank building that has been since torn down. It was called the Selby Building. There's the stone for it. It is separated out into decades, what happened in each decade since the inception of uh, the town incorporation, which was in 1988. Whitewood just celebrated their Quas Quiz Centennial this year, 125 years. And so having this book here at the library has, is going to be wonderful. Very little has been written about Whitewood, compiled about Whitewood. All this information gathered in one book will be tremendous for history gathering. And as you can see, some pictures. Mick Roberts was just on a previous page. Here's his, oh, this is Howard Peterson's dad. That's correct. This was at the sale barn here in Whitewood. It covers uh, all three schools that we had here in Whitewood. Here's the Termas gas station. Barb Termas brought in some information with that. We have some information. Here's Helen May Montgomery, I think, Marietta, and their sister Jane. Here's uh, Helen uh, Grimsbo, Helen Carlson, the old school. The bridge on the old service road was built in 1937. They had a big celebration with a big band. Jim Etherton brought in some basketball pictures. The Corner Cafe, we don't have a lot on the Corner Cafe, but Randy Barker brought in that toothpick holder. I'm going pretty fast because what I'd really like to have you do is stop in to the Whitewood Public Library and check this book out. Or at least look at it in our pre-published version here. There's the information about the library. Copies of this book will be available for uh, $25. Just come to the library and we can help you find, uh, get the copies. These are of old Whitewood days, Hale Hall when it was built. Here's the restaurant. Right up until the 100th celebration, our centennial, 25 years ago. There's the bank building coming down, post office coming down, 
Horizons program in our community, some flooding, some storm information, a train hit a, a truck. There's all the information about here, about it in this book. A little information about the fire hall, some businesses in town. Just trying to collect some of our history. And here is a picture we, take, we took this summer at the 125th anniversary of Whitewood School. So anybody who went to this school was invited to attend and be in the picture. Here's a few pictures from the parade and the festivities we had for the 125th. And of course, again, more documentation to back up uh, what has been written and compiled in this book. So please come to the Whitewood Public Library and check out the book, Whitewood Historical Notes and Folklore.